My spirit is broken, Patrick. Mine too. We just recorded the entire critique and uh, realized that our main camera was not recording. We have been having trouble with one of our pro-grade memory cards. And we did a video about these cards and the card readers a few months ago. Everything's been going great, but for the last few weeks, this one card, if you didn't format the card in the camera, it would say, what was the error we were getting? It's saying, card is not fast enough to record And of course, this, this is this one data. of the fastest cards in the world, so that's ridiculous. But then when we would format the card in the camera, it would work again. But for the last hour and 20 minute take we just did, nothing was saved. So that card will be going back to prograde and we'll be trying to figure out what the heck went wrong with that. And now we have to go through the entire critique again. So this may be the fastest critique ever because we know exactly what we're going <laughs> to say. Uh, if you'd like to be part of the next critique, Pai Jerza from SLR Lounge is coming to visit us. And he is a world-class wedding photographer. So we're going to be doing wedding photography images. We're just gonna leave it broad and open like that. You can click on the description, go to the link, upload your pictures of weddings right now. Let's get started. It's gonna be like Yay. a speed critique because we know everything that we were thinking, but. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Did I go? I don't even remember what I did last this, time. That's this, the this problem. Is where, yeah, this is where we are proven hypocrites, but you guys will never know because I don't remember exactly what we rated for every image, but uh, I'm almost positive I gave this four stars last time. Yeah, I mean, it's a great image. Um, and if you don't know Chase Wilson's work, you should definitely check it out because I've been looking at his portfolio a lot the last couple weeks, and he has a lot of images like this where I feel like the styling is really what makes his work. I mean, obviously the lighting and everything is great too, but the styling is amazing as it is here. Um, I think we were debating if this could be natural light coming out of the window, mm -hmm. but to be hot light, it should be some kind of HMI light. or something. Yep. But uh, incredible shot. Love the composition with her in the center and that you know basket in the background. A couple things that stood out were you know, the colorful things on the hearth on the right side were a little strange. Looked like her face might have a few blemishes that could probably be easily retouched. The... I felt like the nose ring was out of place. Yeah. Because it's like, this This feels like a period piece. Everything feels like it's from like the 60s or 70s, and not that somebody couldn't have a nose ring back then, but I just feel like, edit that out because this doesn't look like the type of person that would have a nose ring in this environment, but... Um, I think you also thought the letters were a little busy. Yeah, maybe a little sloppy. I think maybe just having the one sheet of paper and not the envelope also. But I'm nitpicking at that point. And then talking about nitpicking, <laughs> you... I, my eye, when I go to her, it keeps going to that nipple. Yeah. And it seems weird. It seems like it's a dot, like a burn. Like <laughs> you took the burn tool and brought that in where I feel like just clone it out and don't even have that be a part of this image. All right, well, this is the highest rated image of the critique, and um, it will get a free tutorial from fstoppers.com slash store. David will reach out to you. The community gives it 3.29. On to the next one. Um, it's so weird to do this after already doing it. I know, I know. Because uh, the other thing is, sometimes we rate the images the way we think we should, but then the other person kind of convinces us that we were yeah. wrong. Well, you're not convincing me on this one. Okay, three, two, one. All right, so with this one, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. When I first look at it, it feels cheap to me for some reason, and I can't exactly put my finger on why it feels cheap, but I think it might be the color grade. And uh, I don't know, the fact that I, I feel like this model looks good. I like the fact they got the old timey TV. Maybe the shadows are a little too crushed, but uh, I think there's a lot of potential. Yeah, I just, I don't know what's going on here. This feels like one of those lonely girls in a room and the shadows are so crushed and I don't feel like the lighting is really refined. It just, to me, it reminds me of what it was like hiring girls off Model Mayhem and coming up with these weird concepts and this is what I- I agree. 
what I came up with. But. I agree, but something about it feels a little better than that, but I totally see what you're saying. Community gives it 2.99. All right, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. I feel like the lighting with this is pretty cool. Didn't you give this a three on the last one? Did I? I? Think you kind of like this. I thought I gave it a two, yeah, and I said okay. I said I could give this a four. You could give it a four, but the I don't like the model. I don't like his expression, and then the composition's a little strange. I feel like it feels like it's getting a little too close to the top of his head, and then I don't like the rear view mirror. I feel like the rear view mirror is too predominant. It's blocking his hand and the baseball bat, and then I feel like this could be like a movie poster, maybe for like Netflix or something. Even if it was like for the episode, not the main movie poster, but I just want to see him like with stitches or, or like he's already been in a fight and he's coming back for revenge or something. But I just don't know that I like the composition. I feel like I want the, ca the camera to move to the right a little bit more. Community says 2.58. Well, if you guys are wondering what this is right here, this is a Mr. Marbles uh, gift that was just given to me by a photographer who was over at our house yesterday. He came to a party at our place. and uh, but Who's Mr. Marbles again? Yeah, so if you haven't been following, check out the Ritz Camera Chronicles episodes on our F-Stoppers YouTube channel. The final episode is the grand finale where I am fired from Ritz Camera. I don't want to reveal why, but Mr. Marbles is a reason for he that. He is a big part to, to play in that story. Yep. All right, next up. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Three. Oh my gosh, how could you give this a you three? You had no idea I was going to do that. Well, two, what? That's so low. It's hard to act. But um, when we first critiqued this, you didn't even notice the faces in the smoke. No, I didn't. Um, which obviously is a hu huge part of this image. I feel like this image is so close to being great, but I feel like the color grade in this doesn't seem, it's almost like this is a black and white image and they just added sepia tone to the bottom and blue to the top. I wanna see a little bit more detail um, in her. I wanna feel like this is lit with candlelight. And it can be yellow, but, but there's no colors in this whole image, it's yeah. weird, except for that green thing. Yeah, I almost feel like now that I see the faces in this, I almost want the bottles to be gone. They mm -hmm. feel weird being in there. And then the guy on the left, I don't like how he's got this big white bit of smoke on his forehead. The yeah. guy on the right looks really good. I like what the the like Lincoln character is doing. But as you said, like the candlelight, it's lighting her with this desaturated sepia tone. But then you can see where it looks like they've just painted out the color and made it blue, you know? Yeah. I would imagine this candlelight would still cast some warm light on the background and stuff. So I don't like, I feel like the image is too tall. I, I feel like if you brought the people down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you made the image a little tighter and then you could fix out the coloring, it would definitely would be better. But I still, maybe for like a Disney type of thing, like this has the haunted house sort of feel to it. Maybe it could be cool, but I still think it needs a lot of work before this hits your portfolio. Community gives it 3.05. I find myself looking up at the monitor over and over and over again to make sure that it's recording, audio is going, check, we're safe. Oh yeah, this one's the highly debated beauty. I think, I think you, you probably skewed my Rating? No, don't don't back down now. Okay, you right, gotta I'll, give the I'll give it what, what I gave it last time. All right, three, two, one. I gave it two stars. I gave it two stars, and here's why. The genre of beauty photography is so perfect, and I feel like this is close, but it's just not quite there. There's a lot of things that the composition's weird. The hair looks sloppy. The retouching on the skin, although it's decent, is not great. There's, if you zoom in and really look around, there's some weird stuff going on with her, her skin on her face. The tone of her arms and hands versus the skin tone of her face is totally different. The white, pure white background is, uh, is kind of weird. It makes it feel like it, you know, should be on a shampoo bottle or something. But it's just not up to the standard of other shampoo bottles. So that's why I give this two. I agree with a lot of what you're saying, and those were points you made that kind of persuaded me. I just, I don't know that I'm critiquing this as a beauty shot. 
I feel like this looks like celebrity portraiture or something, you know? Yeah. This looks like an image that could be in, in Oprah's magazine or in People magazine, and, you know, I really like it. I, I agree with what you're saying with the skin tones. I wish her hands were more pink and the tonality was brought down like a third of a stop. Some of the retouching under her right eye, yes, that's weird. I don't like how her ears cropped. But I think that this image is better than like 70, 80% of the images on the community. Maybe that says more about the community yeah, than I, it does the image. But I if agree. you saw an image like this on somebody's portfolio and you were in town and were like, hey, I need somebody to shoot the next, you know, whoever, just for a quick editorial shoot, I think you'd be happy with this photographer. That's fair. Community gives it 3.09. Ooh, the burger shot. We went to town on this one. In a way that you might not think. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right. So I give it two stars because I feel like Although this burger looks like something I definitely want to eat, it's it's not up to the level of professional food photographers, and I don't think that you can make a living with this type of work exclusively in your portfolio. I feel like this is the type of photographer who does other things. They did this on a whim. They didn't think about details like the, the worm-looking thing that's behind the bun on the left side, the nasty-looking French fry that's on the right the drink in the back that looks like some giant pitcher of tea or something, the cropped uh, ketchup, the strange muslin background. It's just, all of it just doesn't really work. And so that's why I give it two stars. I gave it three only because I feel like everything you said is true, but this is, it's raised a little higher than a two to me. And I think you could make a living shooting food like this in a smaller market. I just don't think a smaller market requires that much food photography, low quality food photography. The point that you made, we have we have these restaurants in our neighborhood that just have the worst menus and everything. And the advertising Not is, the best food yeah. either, but you said, if this was on their menu, we would be blown away. Like, wow, yeah. who's taking pictures of your food, you know? And I agree, that is true. But I can't imagine them paying more than like 300 bucks to shoot their whole menu. I just think if you're in a town of like 100,000 people, maybe maybe you're right, there's not enough jobs there to, to make this a, a full-time job. But I think this is better than a lot of food that we see. Um, but I agree, that one French fry, I would not, I would not eat that one. Can and I can't tell if it's Coke or is it like iced coffee? I don't know, the drink in the back looks weird. Community gives it 2.86. Are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. Um, this just feels, I mean, this is just like some weird creepy shot, but you have the logo of the, you know, Guess brand in the shot, so. Yeah, it has to hold up to all of Guess's advertising. So if you go to Guess, I don't know if it's Guess.com, but you go yeah. to their website, or I can think of what these images look like if you're going through the mall. And this is not what they would look like. You know, the guy's like in a boring t-shirt, you know? Yeah. I feel like if they were to style this with their own clothes, they would probably have a better undergarment. They would never shoot from this high top down angle. That's strange. And then, you know, if they use this model, they wouldn't make him look all angry. tough and angry, you know? Yeah, so, so that makes you think, okay, this isn't supposed to be a fashion ad. This is a portrait of this guy. But then what is it for? What? what type of person or business would want a photograph like this? He almost feels like a boxer or a coach or something, you know? Yeah. And but if you remove the guest logo, yeah, maybe now, like, it's still maybe a two. I mean, if, if, but he, it's, if there was a boxing ring in the background, okay, now it's starting to make sense. But just with the black background, it's not really doing it for me. Community gives it 2.44. Ooh. How do you get this effect? Because we've seen this a lot. <laughs> so this shot is funny to me because I don't know how it's humanly possible to get these skin tone colors. But we see them all the time in these critiques. I don't know how you get this. It's like green and magenta is added in the skin tones. And they've become this like corpse zombie type color. 
It, it almost looks like when you have the wrong color space, you've uploaded the wider gambit, but you meant to save it as sRGB. And it's like the computer can't, like it's trying to reproduce colors, but they're muted, but they're green. And If I had to create a tutorial on how to recreate this color, I could not do it. It would not be physically possible for me to figure out how to recreate these skin tones, but somehow you guys do it all the time. Now, that being said... Is this the same backdrop that was in the, the hamburger? Yep, it's, it's the it's dirty like bed, bed sheets. Sheet. And uh, this also has the 45, 45 degree lighting, which I always hate. Oh, yeah. And although I have been talking a lot of trash about this image, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. I feel like this girl looks pretty good. I like her facial expression. Even though the cross lighting I don't like, I feel like it's a flat enough palette that with some dodging and burning, you could make it really interesting. Her hair has flyaways, but you could take those out, and Is then the, the rest of her hair looks pretty camera good. Camera angle too high? Would you bring the camera down? Not a necessarily. Bit? Not no. necessarily. Now, the big question I have is what is going on with all the straps? I have no idea. Like, she has the bra strap, she has the tank, tank top. top strap over it, but then there's like, I mean, is she like in an arm brace, like a cast, <laughs> a sling or something? There are so many straps going on there. If you're going to shoot a headshot of somebody, like, imagine if you could see her her neck and her clavicle and that whole part of the body. Like, it would open up. It looks just looks weird. Yeah, there's a lot that's weird here, but do, don't you agree that there's potential here? It's kind of like an empty canvas on her face, and I feel like you could do a lot. I, I'm having a hard time getting past the okay. color. Okay, there's the no weirdness. hope. The community gives it 2.24. Sorry, Christian. Now, speaking earlier about the Mr. Marbles gift that we got here, Right before we started filming, and maybe while we're filming, even now, the second time, you yeah, have my been, phone is blowing up. You have been getting text messages from another Ritz camera manager, not Ann, thank goodness. That's like next week. <laughs> that, that's coming. I know it's coming. But yes. Um, so the, the manager that took over for Ann down the road, after you've already been gone, has been messaging me. And she's like, oh, I know Lee. They gave me his picture because he wasn't allowed on the property. Yeah. I, had so, like the, I was like the wanted sign with my face. Thing. Yeah. So she has been tagged in a post from somebody at another Ritz camera and was like, have you seen these stories? And she's like, oh my gosh, I've worked with these guys. Yeah. And so I'm just getting all of these stories that I had forgotten about. And it's been kind of funny. I mean, it opens up the opportunity. I don't know that we could ever get any more Ritz, and I'm not flying any more Ritz camera people down here, but these people were saying on this Facebook thread, you know, without knowing that they knew, she yeah. knew us, we got to get on the show. We got, we have our own stories. Yeah. Like, man, maybe we can keep doing this if we can get other people. But again, I'm not, I'm not right. spending all my money flying Ritz and camera you know, employees around. There's so many other stories, but a lot of these stories maybe shouldn't be told. Yeah, we have a lot of those stories where, you know, you know it's like... It's funny, but, like, if you don't know the, the people and the characters and all that, like, it's not as funny, but yeah. then it can be kind of negative or, you know, you can paint somebody in, the ba in a bad light. Yeah. And so it's a little tricky there, but... But one story that she told is we were, we were mentioning how Ritz higher-ups were telling us to cook the books and when we'd sell a lot of prints, ring it up as something else so yeah. it would make our numbers look better. What did she tell you she did? It was about the guy who did all the the letters from around town and you'd spell out your name. Yeah. He must have printed $1,000 worth of prints every week or two, maybe every other week. Yeah. And so she was like, I think I sold that guy a $500 ESP, which is a service policy, for prints instead. Yeah, and I mean, we it, are literally just stealing from the company, but the yeah. man, the district managers are telling us to do this. And when we sell prints as an ESP, we get a cut of that. Yeah, you probably make, you know, 10 or 15% of that. It's crazy. So you make like 50 bucks or something. Yeah. But, you know, she was being told that from a higher up. And I mean, who knows how far it went, but, oh gosh. Maybe our paths will cross with her one day. We'll see. So This was one of the more interesting images, I think, that we critiqued. Yeah, and this is, uh, you, you are not a Game of Thrones fan, right? No. I don't know that this is Game of Thrones, but this is... Uh, it feels like it. It feels like three Game of Thrones characters mixed into one image, which is really weird. Um, that just sounds like a new Game of Thrones character. <laughs> That's true. 
Maybe I just haven't gotten to that episode yet. Um, I think we, we talked about this image a lot in the last critique. I don't remember what I rated it, though. I think I remember what I rated it, and I think I'm going to change my vote now. I may change my vote, but I'm going to go with what I still think. Okay. Three, two, one. I think Did we both we flip? gave it two. We, we oh, you think we flipped? You gave it three last time? Maybe. Maybe. My problem with this image is her face. If I put my thumb over her face and look at this image, I'm like, whoa, this has so much potential. I feel like she's too far down. There's no jawline. I want to see her chin up. Um, and I've been quoted many times on these critiques saying how much I don't like the cosplay sort of thing. Yeah. But this, I don't know if this falls into that category. I mean, maybe for you, you go straight to Game of Thrones, and I can definitely see that, especially with the sword on her left hand. Yeah. But I also can see where this could be kind of like the David LaChapelle thing, where you build this crazy set, and you set it on fire, and you put Kanye in there or something with the crown, and it makes no sense, but it's like suddenly, you know, it's Courtney Love, and she's, you know. Yeah. It could be so over the top for celebrity portraiture, and I think his work's unbelievable. Um, I see a lot of that in here. When I see this image, I think, wow, this photographer hasn't just gone in with the styling of the person themselves, but they've built a set and they've set it on fire and like they've added smoke or flames and like a lot of work has gone into this. I just think her face is like the weakest part of this image. I agree with you. It's kind of strange makeup and stuff for this style of image. Uh, my biggest critique and the absolute easiest thing to do is I think this should be cropped in a little bit. I think you should crop past the fire on both the right and the left side. I think you should crop past the top of the throne and make it more about her. She's got this incredible vibe to her with her yeah. hands and everything. So did you go like kind of like that? Exactly like no. that. Yeah. And um, yeah, you don't need all this extra information. And yeah. that's kind of why it feels a little cheaper, I think. And I, I remember saying, like, in the last critique, I was like, if you wanted to go even further and you could have, like, aborigine guys or naked men or something in the background that are blurry dancing and you just make it feel even more evil and sinister or tribal, mm -hmm. it would take the production that much higher. And maybe you could keep this wide crop because now there's, like, interesting yeah, things going, going on in the on. background. But without that, I feel like crop in a little bit and you would have a, a much stronger image. It's also weird if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot this wide. I feel like her head needs to be in the middle of the frame, but it's pushed to the left a little bit, which yeah. is kind of weird. Community gives it two point nine five. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two stars. So my problem with this shot is I feel like it's too wide, and I feel like there's too much shadow recovery going on here. It feels like they've done the shadow highlights and just brought back too much of the shadows and, and killed the whole vibe of this image. My, the lighting-wise, I feel like it looks really nice on his arm that's on the, uh, and the, and the other hand. That's the hard light coming from below the, the so shade. So you just want more deep shadows on his face? I think so, and I want more deep shadows on this wall and stuff. It just feels like they're, it's too much of a monotone feeling across this whole See, shot. I love this little set, but for me, the two things that kill it for me is his expression seems kind of blank. Yep. He could almost be like smoking a cigarette in his right hand and like looking down at the table or yep. something and it would be kind of cool. I agree. The second biggest thing is I feel like that view out the window does nothing for me. Yep. Like if you zoom in and just get the window there, maybe even zoom past that street light and just show that there is a window you can still have the window in there, but I just feel like that window just destroys the shot for me. Like all the characters in the graffiti, and you really don't even need, I mean, you really don't even need to see that there's a window there, but something about the left side of the frame, it's so big. And because again, you put him in the middle of the frame, I just feel like that's what's killing this image for me. But I still give it a three. I still think this is a cool shot. And it kind of ventures into environmental portrait or celebrity portraiture. Like, this still has that vibe of you could do some cool stuff with this. Well, the community agrees with you at 2.96. Yeah, they do. But remember, this isn't a competition. 
This is a learning experience. We are here to learn, not to see who is more right with the numbers that we throw. It was uh, a lot funnier the first time you threw that joke out. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to re reset jokes <laughs> and they're not working. All right. Three, two, one. Two stars. We agree. I feel like this is, uh, you know, a good starting place for a car photographer, but definitely not good enough to start charging for your work. Do you think the light source is just too small? Or... I mean, I've seen some stuff with, with small light sources where, you know, they light paint, making it a larger light source, and it's well, cool. Well, yeah, that, but that makes it a larger light source. It well, just obviously, feels like... there's some sort of large light source here because there's highlights that go across this entire car. Yeah. But there's weird stuff going on with the lighting. I mean, notice how the, the true color of the car, you can only see in the front grille. But then the hood becomes deep purple and the top of the car just becomes this black tone. I, I don't think that's... You don't like deep purple? I just don't think it's flattering for this car. And then you can't see any of the wheels and it's very difficult to see the... the um, rear view mirror and you can't see any of the interior of the car. I think all that should be added in. Like, the interior should either be lit better or there you should have some kind of, like, gradient on the windshield to where you can't see into the car. Yeah, and then... It's kind of in this in-between area. And then what are you going to do with the with the background, you know? Are you just going to leave it black like that? I feel like this needs to be composited on something. So this is a great starting point, but I'd like for you to step it up. If, if you know, if you don't have a big studio to shoot in, we did a, a video tutorial. I bought my dad that 68 Camaro car. We did a shot outside with tons of lighting. That one was super complicated. But then we did another much simpler photo shoot where we went to an abandoned gas station. And I fired light into the top of the gas station that acted as a big soft light that lit the car from above. That's super easy to do. looks super professional. And uh, anybody could pull that what off. What do you feel like with the one-point perspective, like shooting straight? I mean, you know, there's tons of cool shots of cars like this. But this one's just not really. Also, this Audi looking. sign is, like, so bright. And white. I know. Is that always there? Or is that meant to be like a? I have no idea. It might be some car tag or something. European, Paul. Community gives it two point six five. Next, up. This is a highly debated image. Yes, it how is. How did they make this? Light? I do not know how they pulled this off. All right, are you ready? I think there might be some funny business. Some going funny on. business going yeah, on. Yeah, three, two, one. Always funny business. Three, three stars. We agree. I want to give this four. I love so much about this. Uh, we were trying to decide how in the world did they get these hot lights across her face and made them so sharp? Because we've attempted to do shots like this, you know, with with just really laser beam focused light, and it's very difficult. And we were wondering, you know, maybe if you cut foil or something or a box and fired hard light through it could you get those reflections in the eyes or is it possible that this is done in photoshop and the, the eyes are real but then these highlights across her face are done in photoshop somehow it seems unlikely because it looks pretty realistic on the hair yeah but uh well, i was originally i was thinking could this be like paint like they put like white paint to like replicate that yep but i want to say no because of the hair and then also because the lighting in the eyes but i know if these were just those ice lights it would be too much light and it'd be soft yeah but you have to somehow really funnel and, and narrow the light away and make it hard to shoot through a tiny slit but i've never been able to get light like that. And the fact that it also doesn't go all the way across her nose mm -hmm. is kind of That's weird. what I was thinking about the funny business. Yeah. Because you can see Where it stops it's a complete X in her eyes, but it's not on her face. Which and on makes the top of her head, it stops there above her eyebrow. Something so. fishy is going on. Now, my critique for this image was uh, the laugh lines under her nose, you know, that connect the nose to the mouth. I feel like that should be retouched out. Um, the one on the blue side. Definitely on the blue side, but I think the other side, too. There's, like, a few blemishes there, and I think it could just be toned down. You know, I don't want to make her an alien with yeah. no contour of her face, but... What about the blue dipping into, like, her lower lip? Yeah, that, that doesn't bother me as much, but the blue that's hitting that laugh line on the other side, that... My eye goes right to that. There's also, like, one line on her lip in the red that I retouch out. It just kind of makes it look a little bulby. Yeah, but cool shot. Let us know how you did this lighting effect and if it's real because uh, 
I'd like to know all the lighting because it also looks like is she in silver paint or gold paint? Yeah. Makeup or is that a warm light? So it's got this metallic look to it, which is really cool. Let us know. Community gives it 3.21. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Two stars. Um, Not enough milk. Yeah, it looks like it, this is this is milk, but I think they're shooting straight down, and it's, you're just seeing highlights on either water or coffee. And this just doesn't really make any sense to me. And when you look t close on the watch, the watch is dirty. The watch looks like parts of the watch are broken. It's just this. Yeah, the top left. It's like that line doesn't connect back to the band. Yeah. And then where the band snaps onto the watch, just looks like dirty and used. Like it, it isn't a clean. Yeah. And just because this isn't a fancy, expensive Rolex watch, I mean, check out Swatch ads. They're flawless. And this has It just doesn't make any flaws. sense with the coffee. Yeah, I you don't know? get it. It's like, why just throw coffee there? And Community gives it 2.51. I did want to mention, and I mentioned this in the last video, I don't want to forget. We recently got Mike Kelly's new book, New Architecture Los Angeles. And uh, he was always leaving Charleston to go work for months on this book, and he was stressed out with it forever. And I'm impressed how quickly this came out. Because I've heard, you know, we have other friends who are authors and everything, and when it's done, it takes an additional year yeah. for I mean, it to he, come it's out. It's probably been like a year, just over a year. But this book is just beautiful, and uh, I can't believe how many different buildings he photographed. It's really... Well, when he told us about this project, I remember, like, I think we were on a Where Art Meets Architecture shoot, and he was like, I have this publishing company, and they want me to do this book, but mm -hmm. it sounds like a big pain in the butt. I'm not sure if I want to do it, but every time I've agreed to do something like this, it's always been the biggest thing ever. And I guess in my mind, I thought he said, oh, I'm photographing like 50 of the most predominant architectural buildings in LA. Many of them I wouldn't have access to on my own. Mm -hmm. The publisher's getting me access. So I'm thinking, you know, 50 buildings, it's like 100 pictures maybe, two of each. How many pictures do you think are in this book? I mean, this is like hundreds. Yeah, it's It is crazy. a lot of images. So uh, if you'd like to support an artist, Mike Kelly's work is fantastic. You can buy this on Amazon now. And uh, it's an incredible coffee table book, if nothing else, even if you don't live in LA. All right, next up. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Two stars. We agree. No, this, is, this is a four. Oh. I think you mean two. Two. Um, this is cross lighting. Yeah, but this is this is more my style. I like the concept here. The model is not doing it. And then you pointed out that if you crop in past the lit up armpits, it's a much stronger looking image. And I completely agree with that. I didn't pick that up off uh, from from the get go. Yeah, I just feel like you know all the stray hair. You know, when you backlight people like this, you're going to see all of that. It just yep. doesn't look styled and clean. And this this model in particular doesn't have the most um, like symmetrical features. face. Yeah. So it, it just looks kind of creepy and witch-like and stuff. And so for those reasons, I, I feel like this photographer, they're working on lighting. They're figuring things out. But they need to uh, get another model in there. Or just, or just change the concept. If she was looking up and you could see her eyes and it's, she became like this evil character, I think it could work. But it's kind of weird being lit like a superhero with all this edgy light, but then like praying while naked. It yeah. just, it leaves you with like there's a disconnect, I think. The community likes it a little bit more, 2.84. Are you ready? Are you? Yes. Three, two, one. Two stars again. Um, Is you this know, monkey from corn? <laughs> I don't... I, I know he has dreads, but... Actually, I do remember what he looks like. He doesn't look like no, this. No, he doesn't look like this. But I just feel like there's no emotion in this guy's face. He looks like he's chilling. The lighting is being blocked by his hand. It's casting a bad shadow on his face. I just... I don't think this should be in your portfolio. I like how if you zoom into his eye... He's giving you like the creepy eye out of the corner, you know, eye out of the corner. Yeah, he he's still making eye contact. It's I do like the black and white conversion though. I feel like that looks really nice. 
I wish the microphone was lower so it wasn't casting the use of that shadow into his mouth. Yeah. And he, you know, he was like screaming or like doing something a little more emotional. It looks like he's singing like a soft ballad. Yeah. Community also doesn't like it at 2.16. We got an animal. You know I like animals. Do you? It's what you always say. Oh yeah, that's right. You are been, all, you're always rating poor animal images. Like birds really and highly. stuff. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm gonna rate this one super high. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three on this. I feel like it's it's okay, you know. But we recently we we did a a video with uh, macro photography here in Puerto Rico. And he, I mean, he's taking these snapshots and then showing me the back of his camera, and I'm blown away right. every time he's showing me the back of his camera without any Photoshop. This is kind of interesting with the yellow bug and the blue background. Yeah, I feel like the colors are really helping this probably more than anything else. I do love this ground, this this you know surface that the wasp is on. I can't figure out what it is, but I think it's pretty cool. I agree. Let's see what the community says. 3.28. So I like this one. Ah, and yes. the fish guy. The fish guy has been uploading lots of pictures to Critiques recently. We critiqued one image pretty well, pretty it's, highly. It's, and it's a little unfair when you take a series of photographs. That are all great. They're, they're all good. great, and we always talk about how much we like them. And then it's such a broad type of photograph that he can fit it in animals. He can fit it in underwater. He can fit it in hard light. He can fit it in Fine software. art, yeah. Yeah, and so he keeps uploading different pictures, and we're always like, this is also awesome, <laughs> you know? So we give very similar critiques Well, I don't think time. he'll be able to submit to weddings. So that's true. That's next true. week we'll not have We fish won't fish. have fish. Three, two, one. You went three. I went four. I mean, I could I could rate this five. I feel like once again, yeah, this is amazing. These are great. They're amazing. These are the best pictures of beta fish I've ever seen. Maybe <laughs> fish ever, but I just know the other images we've seen. They've they've been to me even cooler than this. They've had like this metallic look, and you know some interesting colors. So while I think this image is on par with them, I just think you know if I'm being objective with this one image. I don't like this as much as the other ones that I would have given a four. Do you think he's shooting these through the fish tank? Obviously, he's shooting them through the fish that. tank. I mean, you're always like, "This is just shot through an aquarium. This doesn't." This no, is but this is done. This is done in a completely different way. Other photographs of animals are pretending like they were shot in nature, and that's why they are impressive to you. If I went into the Atlanta Aquarium and I walked out with ten pictures of fish. No matter how good they were, you would never be like, you should put that in your portfolio, yeah. Lee. You'd say, that's lame. You went to an Unless aquarium. Unless they look like this. But this is different. This is like, I don't know. This is awesome stuff. All right. Community 3.2. Here I present you my face. This is me. <laughs> I feel like this is one of these shots where, you know, the photographer got a ring light and was super pumped to try it out. We did the same thing when we were learning photography. We got the ring light and we're like, yeah. And you take this picture of a model and you think it's great and then a year later as you get better, you come back and look at it and go, why did I get her to do the jazz fingers? What's going on? Why is she doing that? Why is her face so dead? Why, you know, all these little details that you overlook because you're excited about this new type of lighting and the crazy catch well, lights. she too has never seen the ring light. Clearly. Yeah. She's, she's mesmerized. Confused. Yeah. So are you ready to rate this? Um, yeah. Three, two, one. Two stars. We agree. Man, if her hands were just dropped down, maybe you cropped in a little tighter. Yeah, it might be three. Yeah, I love the color on this. It's got this like magenta blue look to it that's kind of cool. She's got the squinchy eye on the right side of the frame, but she's got the little crazy eye on the left side of the frame. That should be worked Yeah, she's on. got like an uneven squinch. We need a little bit of mouth pressure or something to add some interest to the mouth here. It's kind of dead. But I feel like the colors look interesting, the lighting's nice, the makeup's decent, the hair's decent, so just p potentially the worst part just is the cut hands. cut those hands off. The hands are weird. Community 2.43. So we have had a couple guests over the last few weeks. We have. 
And one of the more interesting guests we have is David Strauss, who is our one and only full-time employee. That's right. That's right. And yeah. So he's been hanging out here with his wife and his newborn kid. How has it been having, I have a, a newborn above me on the floor above me, but you have the newborn a floor below you. So it has been totally fine. I've loved having them here. Never in my life did I think I wanted to have a new family with a newborn live in my home with me for two weeks, but yeah. that's what they're doing. I'm going to miss them when they're gone. You I know, know, I, I know. just it's feel like I, the walls and the floors here are so thick I can hear nothing. So yeah. they never bother me. Like when we're down here working, now we're two floors away. It's yeah. no problem. But uh, it's just been great. We have she's meals been, together. Their daughter's been sleeping so well. Yeah. And I go out there and Ryan's just on the patio with the baby sleeping and, you know, working. And you have this amazing view. And I'm like, I've always thought, you know, it'd be hard to have, you hear, it's, it's so hard to have kids and then travel. But I'm thinking, man, that first year, that's the time to do it. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe not travel a lot, but to yeah. be somewhere different than your home, I feel like if the, the baby's just The one thing is, though, sleeping, is that traveling for us is going out and doing things. They are very much kind of stuck at home, you yeah. know, because they want to hang out together as new parents. But I guess that's what I mean, though. If you were back in Charleston and you were dealing with the winter and then now the spring and you're just at your house yeah. or you're at a place where it's 80 degrees all day and you have a beautiful view and like, you know, I'm sure for the baby, I, she loves it being warmer, you know? Yeah, they, they were saying that the baby seems to be happier to just kind of fall asleep. The baby's and, like, Puerto Rico. Yeah, so when we were first thinking about moving to Puerto Rico, we did a scouting trip down here. We brought Ryan and David with us just to see. You know, and she was like, six months pregnant or something yeah and it was a nightmare for her we were just kind of like oh let's just visit here and there and let's you know it was kind of a one in a million shot for me i never really thought it would happen but i think ryan might have felt like we were going to force her to move down here because we had to have david down here and we just were like no david can work remotely if he wants to all of our employees work remotely yeah and so uh she had a less than pleasant time yeah visiting. so i thought she would never come here again even to visit but then when david said he was going to come she said let's do it and let's extend the trip to two weeks and i think she's been enjoying herself so maybe yeah i've gone on some hikes with them the baby strapped to her chest and it's they great. do hikes it's and great it's like uh it's, it's exciting so maybe we'll see more of david in videos uh because he's going to be competing with you soon oh yeah all right, let's rate it. Three, two, one. Does this is this a snapshot? Like this is on the edge for me. No, this is definitely not a because snapshot. it's shot with a shallow depth of field. And it's not just that; it's got very specific, thought out focus point. So this is the this cigarette two star image. Yeah, I don't like this image, but uh, you know, it's got it's a, a little bit more interesting than if they had just focused on him. I think. Yeah, it's just like there's no lighting at all except the the arc there. You know. Yeah, it's not a great image. Community agrees at 1.58 stars. Now this image, I say, is the best fire-breathing image I have ever seen. And you are a fire-breathing connoisseur. You love looking at fire-breathing no, images it's, all day. It just seems like I've seen a lot of them. But this one, most of them are just taken on black outside at night. This one, he's in like a Mayan I remember temple. one where we were debating if the scene was also lit with a strobe. And there was like a girl and a guy. Oh, and you're were, right. That one was okay. Like, But I, is this one better? This just seems like a novelty to me, you know? Yeah, well, it is. Of course it is. Let's rate it. Three, two, one. Three stars. I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't know why you'd want this in your portfolio. But if you're going to have a fire breather in your portfolio, this is the best I've seen. Now you wouldn't have the flames turn into like some character or something like some. I mean, you can. Some I phoenix rising. I don't rising. know. I don't like if it needed to. Sure. Would, would I add the bokeh balls? I don't know. But Yeah. What is going on with that? It looks like the lens is wet or something. You think they just added that in post? I do. I do. Just it wasn't like we recently had some bokeh balls from water that were naturally occurring because we had a massive wave come over us while we were filming. We I don't did. know if that video is online yet. It's but not online yet. I don't know if this will come out first or that'll come out first. But we destroyed but. a D850. Yeah, we did. Destroyed. And by we, I mean I. Yeah. Um, so if you want that effect naturally, you just... <laughs> just go to the ocean and shoot with me. All right. Community gives it 3.1 stars. 
Oh, and that is the final image. That and was the final image. We failed to mention because we did it in the first video. You got me to pick one random number for the winner. I did. I said five through twenty, so that it wouldn't be the first. And I picked number twenty, which is this one. So congratulations, you have won a free tutorial from fstoppers.com/store. David will reach out to you if. You want to upload your wedding photography pictures, go to the link in the description. If you want to dream of what tutorial you might be able to win, either randomly or with the highest rated image, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. You can check that out. Pi is getting here like tomorrow. I think today's, today's Wednesday, Wednesday when we're filming. Friday. So yeah, he gets here on Friday. He's gonna spend some time in San Juan and he's coming over here. I think you have something planned. I'm going to be competing with Pi and something. You're not revealing secrets to yeah, me. Yeah, we're not even supposed to reveal that, but... Oh, really? I mean, he doesn't know who he's competing against. Well, Pi's not going to watch this. Well, then, they have insider information. Okay. So, yeah, I think there'll be a shootout between you and Pi. we got to start another chain. I keep winning all these shootouts. I, yeah, think, I think it would be better if it was like, who's working their way up? It's like UFC, and they're like, who should be battling Patrick now? Okay. As opposed to me just knocking everyone down. Well, maybe if, maybe if David, Pi wins. Maybe I don't... David's going to dethrone me, but yeah, then then Pi and David can compete. Somehow. Yeah, but like maybe they just have to come back. They have to come back. More to people Rico. need to come to Puerto Rico. Yeah. I don't know. That's the moral of the story. More yeah. people need to come to. Puerto More people Rico. do need to come to. Puerto Rico. All right, guys. We'll see you soon.